Get ready to get kicked out of the theater for singing along. Hey, I'm Emily from Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down every single upcoming movie musical. Before we begin, we publish new content every day. So be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're giving a rundown on all of the movie musicals currently in development as of April 2019. Let's go. Aladdin. Release date May 24th, 2019. Disney's 1992 animated feature took the world by storm with its rousing soundtrack, winning composer Alan Menken an Oscar for Best Original Score. Menken and lyricist Tim Rice also took home Best Original Song for A Whole New World. A whole new world, a new fantastic point of view. The film went on to inspire a Tony-winning Broadway musical and this live-action remake directed by Guy Ritchie. Mankin is back on board for the film, which will not only include his classic songs, but also a few new ones he co-wrote with Benj Pasek and Justin Paul of La La Land. Watch out! Uh, you done wound me up! You ain't never had a friend like me! Rocket Man, release date May 31st, 2019. Taron Edgerton previously co-starred with Elton John in Kingsman The Golden Circle. It would appear things have come full circle as Edgerton is portraying John in this music biopic. People don't pay to see Red Dwight. They pay to see Elton John. Director Dexter Fletcher stepped in as a replacement for Brian Singer during the troubled production of Bohemian Rhapsody. Rami Malek won a Best Actor Oscar for his portrayal of Freddie Mercury in that film. And based on early reactions to Rocket Man, Edgerton may be on the same career trajectory. Oh, no, no, no. Descendants 3, release date to be announced 2019. Dad? If you crossed Once Upon a Time with High School Musical, you'd get something along the lines of Descendants. You'll be chilling, chilling. Oh, chilling like a villain. Director Kenny Ortega and company return for what's reportedly the final entry in the trilogy, which takes another page from Sleeping Beauty as a mysterious foe sends people into a deep slumber. The sleeping spell spreads throughout Ordon. We're trying to discover which villain has perpetrated this evil. Mal and her friends thus embark on another musical adventure to break the spell. Along the way, they encounter more villainous descendants who just might be motivated to shed their wicked ways. Yesterday, release date June 28, 2019. From a hard day's night to yellow submarine to across the universe, the Beatles have inspired a long list of movie musicals. Imagine a world where the Fab Four's timeless songs never existed, though. That's the wildly imaginative premise for this musical comedy, which centers on the only man who remembers the Beatles. Oh, I believe in yesterday. Oh Why did you write that? I didn't write it. Paul McCartney wrote it. The Beatles. Who? Our protagonist takes full advantage of the situation, passing off their work as his own. With renditions of Hey Jude, Let It Be, and others, we're ready to fall in love with the Beatles all over again. <laughs> the Lion King, release date July 19th, 2019. Everything you see exists together in a delicate balance. Rocket Man isn't the only reason why 2019 belongs to Elton John. This year will also see the release of his official autobiography, the continuation of his farewell tour, and a photorealistic computer animated remake of The Lion King. In addition to a new song John co wrote with Tim Rice and Beyonce, the film will include reworked versions of Circle of Life. I Just Can't Wait to Be King, Hakuna Matata, and Can You Feel the Love Tonight. Contrary to earlier reports, the epic Be Prepared will also be performed. And injustice, be prepared. Yeah, be prepared. <laughs> Frozen 2, release date November 22nd, 2019.
Kelly Clarkson, Nick Jonas, and a toy chest of other musicians will be lending their musical talents to the Ugly Dolls movie. Of all the animated musicals coming out in 2019, however, Frozen 2 has conjured the most buzz. Even nearly six years after its predecessor hit the screen, people are still singing the Oscar-winning Let It Go. Let it go, let it go, I am one with the wind and sky. While we've yet to hear any of the new songs Robert Lopez and Kristen Anderson Lopez have cooked up for the sequel, the trailer's heart-pounding musical score is enough to get us pumped. Cats, release date December 20th, 2019. Although it's one of the longest running Broadway musicals of all time, Cats isn't the easiest show to give the cinematic treatment. Of course, Les Miserables was another musical many considered unfilmable, and director Tom Hooper proved naysayers wrong with a Best Picture nomination. Hooper is teaming with composer Andrew Lloyd Webber and executive producer Steven Spielberg for this ambitious adaptation, which features an all-star cast that includes Jennifer Hudson, Taylor Swift, Ian McKellen, Idris Elba, James Corden, and Rebel Wilson, amongst others. Yeah, no, don't put me down for cardio. It's sure to be a memorable musical experience. Trolls World Tour, release date April 17, 2020. 2016's Trolls was a musical hit for DreamWorks Animation with a mix of new and old tunes. The film even earned Justin Timberlake, Max Martin, and Shellback an Oscar nomination for Can't Stop the Feeling. Timberlake and Anna Kendrick are reprising their roles as Branch and Poppy in Trolls World Tour, which includes an original song performed by Kelly Clarkson. Considering that Sing 2 is coming out in 2021, we'll be getting plenty of catchy pop music to go with our animated sequels for the next while. In the Heights, release date June 26, 2020. Before Lin-Manuel Miranda was a household name, he took center stage in a Broadway musical about a Washington Heights neighborhood. Miranda won his first Tony for composing its score, and In the Heights even claimed the best musical prize that year. The film adaptation has enlisted director John M. Chu of Crazy Rich Asians and a cast including singer Leslie Grace as Nina, Corey Hawkins of The Walking Dead as Benny, telenovela actress Melissa Barrera as Vanessa, and Anthony Ramos of Hamilton as Usnavi. You hear the music in the air, take the train to the top. Miranda will be involved in the production, and although he isn't reprising the role he originated on stage, he still might make an on-screen appearance. Vivo. Release date November 6, 2020. Between In the Heights and Vivo, Lin-Manuel Miranda is going to be a busy composer in 2020. Miranda is set to write 11 songs for this Sony Pictures animation feature, which tells the story of a musical monkey's journey from Havana to Miami. Miranda received an Oscar nomination for How Far I'll Go from Moana, and Vivo could very well bring him back to the Academy Awards. If Miranda can finally win the elusive Oscar, he'll become the fourth person in history to warrant PGOT status. Over the Moon, release date 2020. Glenn Keane is one of the animation greats. Acting as a supervising animator for Ariel in The Little Mermaid, Beast in Beauty and the Beast, and the titular street rat in Aladdin. Keane blew audiences away with his 2014 short duet and won an Oscar with Kobe Bryant for Dear Basketball. Keane makes his feature directorial debut with Over the Moon a musical adventure about a girl who builds a rocket to find a moon goddess. Produced by China's Pearl Studio and distributed by Netflix, we're already over the moon. Sesame Street, release date January 15th, 2021. Even if you haven't watched Sesame Street since preschool, chances are C is for Cookie, Monster in the Mirror, and the show's theme song still get stuck in your head on occasion. Sunny day, sweet the Sesame Street gang is heading to the silver screen for the third time in a new musical directed by Jonathan Kreisel of Portlandia. Along with Big Bird, Elmo, and others, the film may also star Oscar winner Anne Hathaway. 
Are we the only ones that want to see her sing I Dream to Dream with Cookie Monster? We want that more than a cookie. I had a dream my life would be. <laughs> so different from this hell I'm living. Foster, release date March 5th, 2021. Pasek and Paul are shaping up to be a modern Rodgers and Hammerstein, winning an Oscar for City of Stars from La La Land, and receiving another nomination for This Is Me from The Greatest Showman. This is me, look out, cause here I come. The duo also wrote Get Back Up Again from Trolls, and are returning to animation for Foster. Co-directed by Steve Martino of The Peanuts Movie and Karen Disher of Daria, this Blue Sky Studios production follows a young man who gets sucked into a world of music and fantasy. Wicked, release date December 22nd, 2021. In 2016, Wicked joined Broadway's Billion Dollar Club, becoming the second highest grossing show ever, right after The Lion King. It shouldn't come as a surprise that talks of a film adaptation have been circulating for some time now. The musical phenomenon is finally flying to movie theaters, with Stephen Daldry of Billy Elliot directing and Winnie Holtzman adapting her own book. Composer Stephen Schwartz is scribing at least two new songs. And if they can defy gravity, Wicked might follow in the footsteps of Over the Rainbow at the Oscars. Pinocchio, release date 2021. While Disney's 1940 version of Pinocchio is in a league of its own, you can always count on visionary Guillermo del Toro to put a fresh spin on a classic tale. This stop-motion adaptation of the children's novel will be co-directed by Del Toro and claymation extraordinaire Mark Gustafson. After spending years in development hell, this animated musical eventually found a home at Netflix, which distributes Del Toro's Troll Hunters and Three Below. When you wish upon a streaming service, your passion project gets the green light. When you wish upon a star your dreams come true. West Side Story, release date TBA. Although West Side Story didn't achieve the Tony for Best Musical, its 1961 screen adaptation won 10 Academy Awards, including Best Picture. I like to be in America, okay by me in America, everything free in America. While that's an impossibly tough act to follow, the upcoming remake has something the original didn't. Director Steven Spielberg. Mr. Spielberg has been interested in directing a movie musical for years, and he couldn't have selected better source material for his first outing. Ansel Elgort and newcomer Rachel Zegler will star as Tony and Maria, respectively, with Tony Kushner of Angels in America penning the script. What and what was just a one is a star Various Disney movies, release dates TBA. Aladdin and the Lion King aren't the only animated Disney musicals getting remade. Director Rob Marshall is going from Mary Poppins Returns to a live-action Little Mermaid, with Lin-Manuel Miranda contributing to the soundtrack. I want to be where the people are. I wanna see, wanna see him dancing. Josh Gad is in the running to play Quasimodo in a live action Hunchback of Notre Dame, with Alan Menken and Steven Schwartz back to ring the bells. Just to live one day out. There. Menken and Schwartz are also reportedly returning for a sequel to Enchanted entitled Disenchanted which is set to be directed by Adam Shankman of Hairspray. Various remakes and sequels. Release dates TBA. In addition to sequels like Labyrinth 2, several classic musicals are getting the remake treatment, with the marvelous Mrs. Maisel creator Amy Sherman Palladino helming a new gypsy, the Arrow vs. Greg Berlanti in talks to direct Little Shop of Horrors, and Thomas Kale going from Hamilton to Oliver. 
Michelle Williams has been rumored for South Pacific, while Channing Tatum and Joseph Gordon-Levitt's names have been tossed around for TriStar's Guys and Dolls. Matilda, Sunset Boulevard, and The Color Purple all inspired hit Broadway musicals, which in turn have inspired upcoming feature film adaptations. Oh, beautiful. Hamilton, release date TBA. It's hard to think of a modern musical that's dominated pop culture like Hamilton. Seeing how the Broadway production and US tour are still selling out theaters, it makes sense that we won't be getting a film adaptation until at least 2020. That being said, a Hamilton movie is totally gonna happen. And when I meet Thomas Jefferson, I will compel him to include women in the sequel. Lin-Manuel Miranda has stated that his historical musical would be tricky to transfer to the screen. Book writer Chiara Alegria Hudes appears to have some ideas in mind, however, as she's reportedly already written a first draft. Dear Evan Hansen, release date TBA. Although Pasek and Paul have become a smash on the silver screen, their roots are on the stage, and Dear Evan Hansen is widely considered their finest work. Try to speak, but nobody can hear, so I wait around for an answer to appear while I'm watch, watch, watching people pass. I'm Equally heartbreaking and life-affirming, the Broadway production won six Tonys, including Best Musical. The film adaptation is eyeing Steven Shposky to direct, which sounds like a match made in heaven given his work on coming-of-age movies like The Perks of Being a Wallflower. Until a release date is officially set, lift your head and look around. You will be found. Honestly, can't wait for the cast list for most of these. Who's gonna be our movie Alphaba and Glinda? I'm kinda hoping it's just Adina Menzel and Kristen Chenoweth again. What movie musical are you most excited for? Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to Ms. Mojo, and while you wait for any news on The Little Mermaid, be sure to check out these other great videos. Hey guys, I'll play Scuttle. <laughs>